hey guys welcome again back to my channel how are you guys doing hope you're all doing great and i hope you're generally fine guys so today i'm going to show you how to make this very beautiful um short length jumpsuit okay with a bishop collar and also a front zipper this one is super easy trust me when i say that let's dive into it so i'll show you how we did this so here is my fabric of course i have it already laid out okay yeah so we're going to be cutting out for the upper part first okay before we cut for the lowest part so for the upper part i already have it drafted out so i have a previous video several of it actually on how to create um, a princess that um bustier cut out okay so there's no need of going into that again when i have videos already linked up in my description box for that so this is just the upper part of it and remember the front is the part that has the zipper okay yes yeah, so i have a zipper for the front while the back is the unfold part as you can see yeah so the thing is i didn't make the the bust out cut to be so much okay because i don't really want it to be all busty and of course i'm not fixing any bust pad or anything here so this is it guys the front piece and the back piece of the half length cut is all ready so we'll just move over to the lowest part which is the short um you know pants so this is it guys i have my liner already underneath just to make everything easy for me so the actual length of this jumpsuit is 36 by the time i take away half length of 17 for the upper part i'm left with 19 okay yeah so i'll go ahead and also add the extra you know hemming allowance and joining it to the top part okay so this totally depends on the length your desired length so i'm using um 2.5 inches extra for that for the hemming allowance okay so that's what exactly what i have here so i'll go ahead now and just rule that out so i'll cut off the excesses you know later on so once i've achieved that now then the top part representing the waistline so i'll go ahead and start taking the vertical measurement so from that waistline now indicates the the hip line at nine inches so i'm marking that down the hip line at nine so going ahead to rule the lines there on the hip line so for the crotch i'm going to be using the hip circumference which is 40 divided by 4 that is 10 then i'll add 2 inches to that making it 12 so that's going to serve us what my crotch step so i'm going ahead to mark that down as well then i'll get a straight line so after that i'll go ahead and you know label it all okay yeah so the next thing i'll also do now is to create a shape okay just the side shape before we start fixing in our measurements so on the lowest part there i will go inwards by 1.5 inches while on the upper part there i'll go inwards what by 0 0.5 inches okay so these two points now i'm going to be connecting them both to the hip line so you can see that will automatically what give me what my side shape they just to give the pants the size shape that it needs okay and so this is it. so every other measurement of course is going to be from those lines there now it's time to fix the body circumference so on the waistline now it's um, 30 divided by 4 7.5 i'll mark that down i'm using a seam allowance of about three inches remember we're turning it out with the lining so i'm using three inches actually that's what i'll put down then on the hip line 40 divided by four right that's 10 i'll also add three inches so pay a little attention here so on this part now on that hip line i'm going to extend the line straight down to the waistline you know that's not the actual waistline so you can see what i'm doing now so the difference i have from that line now which is from the actual waistline i'm going to put it back on the back side you can see what i have is 1.5 so i'm going to now put it back on the back side okay and reshape what i already have by the side so the idea is just to make that hip line to be straightened all the way to the waistline i hope you understand there's nothing difficult there so because i have reshaped it that means that initial line now is discarded okay i hope you understand that guys yes so that's it now so i'll also extend that hip line to the crotch you know depth as well you can see this then on that crotch line now i will now fix what my crotch of two inches so that's what i'm marking out there then i'll use my curve ruler and what create my crotch and that's it guys so you can see we have this down then moving over to the lowest part uh, which is the new part that's where the um the shots will get to right so i'm going to fix the run new on that area okay the run new there is actually 22 
So 22 will divide it by 2. You know, in this case, we are dividing by 2, unlike the hip and the and the waist that we divided by 4. So if divided by 2 is 11. You can see I'm marking that down 11. Then I'll also add the 3 inches seam allowance I'll be using. Okay, so this totally depends on what you want. You can make your seam allowance to be lesser. Okay, yeah. So I'll go ahead now and connect it from that crotch all the way to the hemline. And guys, we're done. This is exactly what we have. You can see our pants is ready then fixing in the dart from that waistline i'm going back inwards at four inches so this four represents the bust pan measurement of eight divided by two so i'll go ahead and notch that point down so that's going to be uh by that point okay so on that line i'll just make a sketch of 4.5 straight down so that's how i'm going to sew my dart i'll sew um straight line there 4.5 then i'll take 0 0.5 inches on both sides you can see this 0 0.5 inches on both sides and i'll connect them word to that that point so you can see this now and so that's how i'm going to show my that is that simple so guys this is ready the next thing now of course is to go ahead and cut this out so at this point if not subscribed to my channel please what are you waiting for just go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay don't forget to all your notification bells and also remember to share and like with friends i really really appreciate this a lot okay thank you so much so moving on now we're going to be drafting for the um back side all right so what we are just going to do is just ex repeating exactly what we already have for the front piece so you can the easy way you can just actually place um the front piece over this and just you know sketch out what you've already drafted out okay yeah but i'm just going ahead to just repeat the you know the process okay there's nothing extra here right yeah so once you've achieved that um, the next thing, of course, we'll go ahead and do is now to, you know, the add the extra inch we have to add because of it's the back space. You know, the back is usually wider than the front a bit, right? Yeah, so now that we already have this now, I'm going ahead now to add two inches on that same crotch line there. You know, this is the back space, like I said. Then on the lowest part, I'm just adding 0 0.5 inches. 2 inches on the cross, 0 0.5 inches on the lowest part. You can see what I'm doing. Then on the upper part, all I need to do is just to what, you know, make the crotch to align with what I already have. So I'm doing this because this is more like a fitted shot, okay? So if it's a free one or a little bit like a palazzo, then you can just do 2 inches all the way. You don't have to reduce 0 0.5 inches on the lowest part, just like you see me doing, right? Yeah, so this is just like a fitted one, and that's why I'm drafting it out this way. Then the upper part, I'm just going up by one inches, okay, to make the the back um, side to be higher, right? So going up by one inches, then connecting it backwards to the um the edge of the side there. You can see what I'm doing, right? Yeah, so I'll go ahead now and also cut this out. So you can see this now. And of course, I'll do the same thing for the side. So this is the the back. This is all ready. Yeah. So just like we added um, our dart on the front side, we're also doing the same thing. Just creating the same dart points there. So you know, for this back one, we went up by one inch. So for the the front one also, you can reduce about 0 0.5 inches or one inches as well. Okay. Yeah. So we have this now. The front is ready and also what the back is also ready yeah so what i'm doing now is just to draft out the pocket shape so i have videos on this as well on how to create a pocket for a shot okay yeah so i'm just creating a curve there i'm using the two by seven inches to create that so i'll cut that much later now setting this aside we're going to be cutting out for the sleeve so this is a long sleeve and i'm using a sleeve length of 22 but i'm just adding extra hemming allowance okay you know we'll also be turning this with a lining so all i need to do now is to indicate the vertical line so from the top i'll indicate the cap height at seven inches marking that down then the next is going to be the three quarter length at 14 inches marking that down as well then of course i'm going ahead to rule it all the straight lines then after that indicate the actual length of the sleeve which is what 22 plus the hemming allowance so i'm just trimming off the excesses that i don't need there 
Now, the next thing is to indicate the cap height. I'm using the cap height was four inch, which is actually ID for an average woman. Cap height of four. So on that cap side line, I will indicate the armhole circumference of 18 divided by two, and that is nine. I'm marking that down as well. Then I'll go ahead and add one inches for the seam allowance there. And that's it. So at that point there, I'm going to be drawing a slant line to the edge of the top of the sleeve there. You can see what I'm doing. So draw a slant line there. So whatever you have on that slant line, you are now going to measure it. Whatever you have, you divide it by 2. I have 11, split it into 2, and that will be 5.5. So at that 5.5 inches mark now, I can now create my inverted S. So see the way I'm demonstrating my finger. So just going inwards and outwards. So going inwards to about 0 0.75, then you go outwards to about 0 0.5. And here you have what your inverted is. So this is just an easy way to draft your long sleeve. And guys, after that, you can now fix the arm, arm circumference. So on the bicep, the circumference there is about 12 divided by 2. I just added 1 inch seam allowance. On the 3 quarter, it's 11 divided by 2, 5.5 plus 1 inch. Inch. then on the wrist circumference that's about nine divided by two that's 4.5 and also what's the one inch seam allowance and that's it guys so this is done so i'll go ahead now and uh, you know join all the points together and we have our sleeve ready you can see how this looks all right so the next thing of course is to go ahead what and call this out don't forget to like share and subscribe if you've not done that okay thank you guys so just going ahead to notch you know the hem points there and our sleeve is ready so we all have our piece ready the next thing of course now is to go ahead and start joining all our piece together so this one is for the back for the upper part okay and you know remember the back is on fold so this is our princess that cut we just go ahead and join we usually join from the lowest part okay just like you see me demonstrating just join from the lowest part all the way to the top there okay so once you do that whatever you do for the main piece you also do for the lining as well then for the front remember the front is the one that has the zipper so you also go ahead and do the same thing just join you know your dad do the same thing for both um the main piece and also the lining as well so i'll finish this up later then for the lowest part which is the short pant part i'll also go ahead and use my lining but in this case we are not separating line we are going to use the lining to turn it actually to turn the fabric itself so just place it like so so we are just turning both the sides okay just the sides the upper parts will be open just the sides and the crotch parts that's where we're turning for the back then the front the same thing the upper and the lowest part will be open and also that part where you'll be fixing in the pocket will also be open okay yes yeah. so i'll go ahead and finish all this up as well yeah then after that now the sleeve is done with the lining and you can see we have gone ahead to join the upper part you can see how it looks now so once we have joined all the pieces then it's time for us to now use the actual lining to now turn it all over okay so you just use the line just like the way you join it just place right side to right side and turn the sides okay yes that's all remember we are not turning the neckline because we'll be fixing a collar afterwards just turn the just the sides there okay yeah and that will be it guys then for the lowest part you can see here i've gone ahead to turn it already you can see how this looks and also giving it a good press then the next go ahead and fix the dart just like i demonstrated earlier for both the front at the back after fixing in the dots then the next thing now i'll go ahead and attach the pockets the pockets we've already shaped out already so just place the piece we're using for the pockets place it right side to right side then i'll use my pin to just demonstrate that go ahead and sew okay using the pin to demonstrate that so after sewing that now you can now you know create the pocket itself so but before you do that you have to draw out that same shape we cut out earlier remember it was two by seven inches okay yes so two by seven inches go ahead and 
curve it just like we did but it's just that we are not cutting this part we are just leaving it there as a guide okay so after sewing that part that we pin you just move your pocket just like you see me demonstrating move your pocket and let it align on that line where you already drafted i can see this and that's it then go ahead and pin the size and the top part so the part you are pinning you're actually going to sew it just to top stitch on it then on the inside you also cover up the lowest part and the pocket is ready it's that simple in case you're also a bit confused i also have just a very short video linked up in the description on how to fix a pocket on a shirt okay yes guys so that's it guys this is ready the next thing now is to go ahead and sew the crotch for both the front and the back okay so after sewing the crotch now then you do the same thing for also what the back piece okay yes so once you're done doing that they can now go ahead and join it and here it is i've gone ahead to join it to the up part so the final thing now to do will be what to join the front to the back okay so for me i like to fix my zipper first for this bar just to have it in one piece so after fixing my zipper they can i can now go ahead and join the sides okay yes so after joining the sides then i can also what now join the crotch and of course hem the lowest point and guys this outfit is ready it's that simple you can see yes guys so that's it guys we're going to stop here because i don't want this video to be so lengthy so on the next one i'm going to show you how to attach the collar to it and also to fix um the sleeve thank you so much guys please don't forget to subscribe if you find this helpful see you on the next one